Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at the Almo, or should I say, Exertus Almo booth here at Infocom 2022. And one of their partners is Spinetics, that company that makes digital signage everything. Spinetics at spinetics.com, S P I N E T I X.com. We're here with George Preston, who is the Vice President of Sales for North America for Spinetics. How are you? Very well. Busy show. It has been a good show so far. And um, we last time we saw each other together, was uh, at Infocom in October, and at that show, you had, you showed me something really cool. I forget exactly what you called it. It was it was a live agent, I think. That's it. Yeah, which is like a, a, a like a virtual concierge service. I love that. Now we're seeing people coming back to offices, not just corporate offices, but government offices everywhere where people are coming back and they're being welcomed. The idea that you can press something on the screen and you can get a real person talking to you somewhere else in the building or somewhere else entirely. People love this concept. And also, it isn't that people are afraid to be around other people, it's that now we are wearing many hats. And so if you have a receptionist, for example, and that person can do other jobs at the same time, why have the receptionist just sitting there at the receptionist counter? But more importantly, you can add a lot of other functionality through signage, which is stuff like customer service and support remotely using your platform, which is cloud-based now. That's right. Uh, customer service is a big one. Being able to help people with information that they then visualize. So how do I get to this place? Well, instead of explaining it to the person, they can say, I'm delivering it to the screen now. And that's how to get there. Yeah, and of course, at, at the heart of what you do is a media player. You have a media player. You have a line of media players. You can do all different resolutions. You can do wireless, wired. You can do data. You can do Wi-Fi. You can do uh, you know wired networks. Um, but over the last couple of years, few years, you've kind of, kind of uh, added on some heavy duty cloud-based services in signage called Aria. Can you talk about that? That's right, so it's the third year of our software as a service product, Aria, which is built into the player. So if you get a player with no provisioning, it boots up, code on the screen, connects to the cloud, just like that. But the principle is the same as what we've done always, which is to make integrators autonomous helping them describe, sell, support the customer without having to run to us, without having to do customization every time. And the idea would be that an integrator in offering cloud services can offer it as a, as a, a service that they can charge for on a monthly or annual basis, right? Yeah, that's right. So managed services is a kind of grandiose term, but really what end users want is in a couple of years, if they want something new, they want to be able to, within the product, say, I want something new. Can you help me? And we keep the integrator as part of that conversation. Exactly. And, and so, uh, do I have to use Spinetics uh, signage player, media players, to be, for Aria to work right now, or can I use uh, virtual players and use uh, system in a chip displays, or, or do I do I use the Spinetics players? The way we can deliver a very reliable cloud, and we can guarantee things are shown on the screen when they need to be, and we can keep the player running day and night, is because the operating system is ours, and we manage that, and that means we have to qualify the devices which it can run on other platforms are not compatible or they promise compatibility but then they don't give us the security updates that we need. So it's our player, the Spinetics HMP400. Many options in that device but it's one SKU. The only thing that is different is the wireless version is separate from the non-wireless version so for those government clients that demand security. See the difference here, the antenna versus not antenna. And of course, if you're in a government or secure facility, you're definitely not going to use wireless. And this is the this is the media player here. You make a really interesting point about because there's a, there are uh, cloud uh, theoretically cloud um, signage companies that are like you can use anyone's system on a chip. But the reality of the situation is. Every time you do that, you have to dumb down your content to the lowest common denominator because not all cloud or onboard media players are the same. That's a big issue, right? So managing it and also sending the creative content to it will be differentiated every single time. That's right. I mean, ultimately, someone's got to know the progress and the compatibility of that product. And the more you add, that's an exponential complication. Right. So ultimately, no one really knows. Right. And so what you'd have to do is you'd have to build for the least common denominator, exactly. so you're maybe missing features. And of course, Live Agent is going to be a, a very big feature that people are going to want. And and so, if I'm using Live Agent on a signage display and I want to have a camera on me as well, so I know obviously they're going to have a camera on them, do I just mount a USB camera here into and it goes straight into your player? Is that how it works? That's it. Any normal USB device. We've got USB-C in and out on the player, so that will take the video in. An example of where the operating system comes in important is when you press that button, it needs to connect very quickly. Latency will put people off. So by having the device controlled and the OS controlled, the experience is very low latency.
Exactly. Okay, you can check them out at spinetics.com, S-P-I-N-E-T-I-X.com. Of course, they're being distributed by uh, Exertus Almo. You can check it out through your Exertus Almo rep as well. George, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Congratulations on uh, some great success and what you're doing in the U.S. for Spinetics. Congratulations on that as well. If you want to check out all the videos we shoot here at the show on Spinetics, all you got to do is type that in in the video search window. And, you, of course, you can see all of our, our coverage here at Infocom 22 at raypubs.com slash Infocom 2022.